<laughs> guys my mum just asked me who has a full face of makeup on at this time of night <laughs> me because i'm filming also i just had some raspberries and they're so sour so i'm still gonna eat one though mm. not all of them are sour i don't because you're those. asking for it you're dying for it Hey, what is up guys? It's Sin. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet, you know, because the time is 12 or 9. And what is my stupid ass doing today? I'm doing an all-nighter. Yes, you heard it right. I'm doing an all-nighter. I'm starting at midnight. Well, just past midnight now. I just went downstairs, made myself a coffee. I also stocked up on some steady essentials. I'm trying to be healthy, even though this in no way, shape, form is healthy for me and my body to be studying at this time. I have always studied at night. I'm like a night owl. I just get a lot of work done at night. I actually like completed a whole assignment like a few nights ago and I went to bed at 7 a.m. So yeah, I'm just used to working like this. I've worked like this for a long time. I don't recommend it. Honestly, I don't because it messes up with your body clock. I've actually got nothing on tomorrow at uni, so I am allowed to work through the night and I know that I won't miss anything if I do oversleep, but obviously I'll like, only have a few hours of sleep and then keep on going with day and then sleep a whole night tomorrow night i'm going to be relatively quiet in this video just because i don't want to wake up everyone in the house when i have a mansion after all of this hard work pays off then maybe first things first what i do is i actually plan what i want to get done that night this is the task that i want to get done for the night and that is to finish slash start my first draft for my early intervention assignment and i've put a little arrow here and i've put all the parts of it that i want to get done so i've nicely broken it down into sections and that's what i'm be focusing on today also mind my horrible nails i just pulled my acrylics off from stress love that for me so without further ado you guys i'm gonna get straight into studying i'll keep you guys updated on the time and what task i'm on and what i'm doing if you haven't already please do subscribe smash a like on the video yeah i hope you enjoyed this little study with me and i hope it's a little bit motivating for you guys So task one is to tackle the introduction. So I've already read the paper, like annotated and read the paper. I've put bullet points on what I want to include in the introduction. So I'm going to try and cover those bullet points. What I'm going to do first is just reread the paper and then tackle the introduction. So you guys can watch me do that and then I will get back to you once that task is done. Got another one. Hey okay, guys, I have literally just done some notes on the introduction again. Our lecturer told us to just read, reread, read again, keep reading it and making different forms of notes just to kind of generate more ideas and see, you know, if you find anything else that you want to research or anything you want to critique. By the way, I don't think I said this, but the assignment's like a critical review. You can choose to either do one on psychosis or on autism. The papers have already been set, so I read both papers and I went with the psychosis paper. I just went through the introduction, made my notes. Again, this is like my third time reading the paper, guys. Just highlighted in pink any thoughts that I had that need like further research. So yeah, after I've just done this whole introduction reading notes and stuff, I'm going to open up my draft that I've made. Like I've made like a draft kind of layout of how I want to set it out and I'm just going to start typing into my introduction bit about the introduction. So I'm going to work kind of bit by bit before I move on to the method section. With the thoughts that I've just got on the introduction, if that makes any sense, I'm going to go and research all those thoughts and kind of type my thoughts down so they don't 
exit my brain at, um, what's the time now? It's like quarter to one. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do now. Guys, my mum just asked me who has a full face of makeup on at this time of night. <laughs> me, because I'm filming. Also, I just had some raspberries and they're so sour. So I'm still going to eat one though. Mm. Not all of them are sour. It's time to stop typing. just writing points as they come to me because I feel like at this time of the night like when I get an idea I just need to get it down or else it goes into one side of my brain and like exits real quick at the other side so you guys can see I've already like started a whole paragraph here my points are coming along quite nicely and it's nearly three o'clock so I'm definitely gonna have like a really good draft like first draft completed in a few hours and i'm feeling positive i might go for like a little break when we get to 3 a.m and watch some youtube or something or like go downstairs and like wash my face and take my makeup off because it's a bit grim um to have a makeup on at this time i think you guys are probably used to seeing me without makeup so i'm gonna keep going for another half an hour and then take a little break i also have nearly finished my raspberries i'm like three quarters of the way through them draft I've got all my like basic ideas down I've done quite a lot of research and I think that's why I'm tired because I spent a lot of time reading papers I'm kind of glad that I did all that wider reading because it means that it's gonna save me time typing out all my ideas and having the evidence for them already there but yeah it's been a productive night I'm just really really tired now so I'm gonna get some sleep and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have watched this far, this crackhead mess of a video. <laughs> Thank you very much guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. This shit way too formal. Y'all know I don't follow suit.
AC Dash Mercedes.